So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of uh, Moon Venus in the 12th house of your birth chart. As in what happens when Moon and Venus are conjunct in the 12th house of your horoscope. And as always, if you do not know if you have this particular position, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all your astrological details, for that check out the links here, karisastrology.com, where under shop section you will find my reports, consultations and books. As many of you keep asking, hey, how can I get you a reading? Hey, where is your books? Hey. How can I find out my astrology detail? I'm like, do you guys ever watch the first 30 seconds of my every single video? Right. So, 12th house, moon, and Venus. So, what is 12th house? Many, many things, right? 12th house is a house of devotion, bed pleasures, expenses, foreign travels, ashrams, hospitals, clinics. Okay, and 12th house, I mean, it represents, I can keep going on and on and on and on and on and on. It's dreams, it's astral plane. So anyway, when moon and Venus are there, okay, and if let's say there's no conjunction and aspect of planets, because those things will always change the dynamics of this conjunction. Okay? Because right now, it'll be one thing, but just one aspect, one conjunction, I mean, it can, like, even bring about addiction. Right now, we don't see addiction with this particular placement in the 12th house. What we do see, okay, is pleasure for romance bet pleasures love for expenditures meaning love for wanting to expand and beautify things by spending money this person can also become completely devoted to god devoted to uh, some form of a devi if they let's say have especially if certain like say vrinchi yoga is occurring okay or mala yoga is occurring this can create a spiritual person mala yoga will simply mean when there are planets from seventh house to twelfth house and there's planets and all over all the houses occupying so this will then create a very spiritual person devotion and one thing you will see such people um, have tremendous amount of imaginative power especially when it comes to seduction, when it comes to art, music, creativity, politics. Yes, politics, because Venus is actually a politician. Such a person is always working behind the scenes with creative ideas in how to win the hearts of people, how to win the hearts of the common person. Because the common man is the sixth house, right? All the workers, all the work, working class people are seen from the sixth house. Whether it's blue collar, whether it's white collar, whether it's yellow collar, whether it's red collar. So because moon and Venus are in the second house, their drishti, their sight is always on the sixth house. They always are wanting to please other people, please the common folk. And moon Venus will also give absolute love and joy for traveling and especially shopping when traveling to foreign places. This is also the placement of nurses. People who make great nurses have this particular placement. They know how to be devoted to nourishment, devoted to nourishing people. Now, of course, can this conjunction make somebody and become a stripper, become going to adult industry? I've, absolutely, I've seen it. But that all depends upon the nakshatra and the sign. You know, that's not really something you can say without any sign, without any nakshatra. Also, one thing uh, we see here, because of moon and Venus in the 12th house, um, there would have been something dramatic that would have occurred in your maternal aunt's or uncle's lives. So ask your mother that. What dramatic event occurred? And that would have occurred before you were born. 
before you were born, because this is the 12th house, before you were born, some dramatic event occurred. So those things um, definitely seen. And such people love eating sweets. Love to eat sweets and luxury foods. Why? Because sixth house is food as well. Why sixth house food? Sixth is fifth from the second house. It is the result of the second house. It is the child of the second house. So it's impacting and pretty much sixth house is where the digestion is taking place. So what is being digested? What well, any planet who's impacting the sixth house or wherever the sixth Lord is being impacted, that's what you're getting into your digestion. So there will definitely be love sweets, especially now, especially when it comes to addiction, addiction for tea can happen. Besides drugs or besides, you know, uh, alcohol, addiction for caffeine can take place, especially tea. Because Venus naturally represents beetle leaves, pan, you know, and so pan and tea, because tea is also a leaf, you know, so those, those type of things can take place. Um, but the, to truly see the, uh, the inner workings of this, you'll have to look at the sign in Nakshatra. Now, because Moon and Venus are, you know, in the 12th, and let's say we know they're not in any aspect or conjunction with a planet. Such a person will always like to be very private about their romantic life, their sexual life. They like to meet people in isolation. Their actual joy and pleasure comes in when they're alone with their significant other. Not when they're like going to parties with their friends or with their uh, you know, family, especially when it comes to like romantic ties, like say before marriage, like romance that you have, they always want to be alone and isolated from such people. They want to travel with that per person. Traveling naturally enhances the quality of, you know, the, the romantic current. Okay. So anyway, guys, this was my analysis of Moon, Venus, and the 12th house of your birth chart. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your planet replacements are, along with all your astrological detail, including my pending karma reading, check out the links here and subscribe below. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.